Welcome to this LNR warehouse training video on order filling. Order filling or picking is the physical process of moving product from primary bin locations into orders. Orders that eventually leave the warehouse for retail destinations. It's the meat and potatoes of the entire LNR warehouse operation. Let's follow Zulma as she goes through the order filling that process. The, little -turn thing. the first step is at a computer terminal in the zone in which you've been assigned to work. In this case, Zulma is picking an order in the cosmetic zone. From the shipping menu and using the keyboard from the computer, select job function login. On the employee login logout screen and with the cursor on user ID, scan your name badge. The cursor drops down to login logout. There should be an I in that spot indicating you're logging in. Press enter. On the job assignment window, enter the zone you're working in by keying in a capital Z and the zone number. Press enter. For job function, key in SO in capital letters. Press enter. On the assign next release window, answer yes. One or more picking tickets, called orders or order forms in this video, will print out on the printer assigned to that zone. In this instance, just one order has printed out. Double check the printed order. Every page of every order should have your name in the upper left hand corner. Look in the top right hand corner for the order number and the number of pages in that order. Verify you have all the pages and staple the pages together for any one order. Grab a cart and some empty boxes and write the order number on a flap of each box. This allows scanners, the fine folks who are going to process your order, to identify every box. All the prep work is now completed and you're ready to head off to the races and get this order filled. The product in the zone will be organized in some fashion to allow for an orderly process of filling the order. The product will be listed on the form in the order you'll pick it. The order form will contain a substantial amount of information for each item to help you in your picking effort. The primary location code or pick bin for that product, the quantity, a scannable pick label, every item has a unique pick label number and barcode, a UPC, a product description, and more. To get started, find the pick bin for the first item on the order. Remove one of the packages from that bin and verify that the last four digits of the UPC on your order match the last four digits of the UPC on the package. Remove the quantity of that product listed on the order form from the bin and place it in your box. Now very importantly, circle the quantity on your order form and move on to your next item. Continue picking till all items listed on the order form are in the boxes. If a bin is ever empty, you'll need to request that it be replenished. You can continue to fill the rest of your order and return to that bin later. If when you finish picking that order, there is still no product in the bin, or at least not enough to fill the quantity requested, cross out the quantity on the order form and write in either zero or the lesser amount in the blank space next to it. In the order filling process, it's all about mileage and movement. You'll definitely keep those legs and arms moving. No doubt, it's a calorie burner. When you've completed the order, write your initials in the upper left hand corner of the order form. In a spot toward the middle of the form, key in the number of boxes. Now it's time to head back to the computer terminal to confirm your order. If the screen is on the shipping menu, select confirmation. You'll be at the pick label release confirmation screen. Most times it'll already be on that screen when you arrive at the computer. For picker number, scan your name badge. For beginning label, scan the pick label code for the first item on your order form. For the ending label, scan the pick label code for the last item on the last page of your order form. The cursor drops down to an area where you can report adjustments in your order. If you wrote in zero for any of the order's items, scan the pick label for that item, 
type in zero and press enter. If you wrote in a reduced quantity for any of the order's items, scan the pick label for that item, type in the new quantity, and press enter. A window will appear requesting that you verify that quantity. Repeat for all adjustments. Once you've completed this page, whether you had adjustments or not, press the F2 key on the computer keypad to save. On the Update Pick Labels screen, select Yes. You're confirming your order. On the Assign Next Release screen, select Yes if you're ready for another order to print. No if that's not desired. You're back at the Confirmation screen and you've completed order confirmation. With the order form in one of the boxes, take your completed order to the scanning area where it will be rescanned for accuracy and prepared for shipment. At that point, you've completed the work on that order and you can begin a new order. If that was your last order of the day, Yeah! Hooray! Yeah! Return to the computer terminal and log out. To log out, from the shipping menu, select Job Function Login, scan your name badge, there should be an O for login log out indicating you're logging out. Press enter and you're ready to leave for the day and boogie on into the night. Let's go through this order filling process again, this time in fast mode. Log in at computer terminal at the start of the day. Scan name badge, print out and double check order form, write order number on boxes, Fill order accurately while circling quantities. Write down your initials and number of boxes on completed order form. Confirm order at computer terminal and report any edits or adjustment. Deliver order to scanners. Repeat over and over and over and over. Log out at computer terminal day's end. A properly filled order is truly a beautiful thing in the LNR warehouse world. Thanks for watching this LNR Warehouse training video on order filling.